What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be wrinkle red painting this valve cover for the Project Panda on the Texas Honda channel. I'll be using VHT Wrinkle Plus. I ended up getting this off of eBay. I will leave a link in the description. Um, a seller from eBay sent us a box and we opened it on this channel and this was what was inside. Wrinkle Plus, really cool stuff and this is wrinkle red. So it'll have that factory Honda wrinkle red look to the valve cover. So I already went and used the aircraft stripper on this valve cover using the Sun Joe pressure washer I got from Walmart. Uh, pressure washed all the stuff off of there. Then we hit it with some 220 grit sandpaper, stepped it up to 320, uh, wiped it all down with some isopropyl alcohol and water mixture. Um, Windex works perfectly fine at removing grease, so if you have that, just use that. Or a wax grease remover. Then we went ahead and taped up all the ports and areas we don't want paint on. So this thing is ready now. It's wiped down and ready to go. Um, we're basically going to shake this up. Now, if it is colder, you will want to warm your cans up. You can use a heat gun, but that can be dangerous because some people just don't know when to quit. Um, so boil up some water and take it off the stove, put the can in it for about five to 10 minutes, and then you should be good to go. So I'm using a GoPro Hero 7 Silver on a head mount so my hands can be free. So I hope you guys enjoy this content. Um, I'm trying to get more stuff out coming to you soon. So hit the subscribe button, turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload and uh, don't forget to hit the like button. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start painting this. All right, so what I like to do after I shake it up is just do a couple test fires. Um, this will just clear anything out if it's clogged up in there before spraying on here. Now I will go light at first and then I will use the heat gun to heat everything up a little bit to kind of speed the process up and then we'll go heavy over that using the heat gun last to kind of give the wrinkle form because heating it up with the heat gun really helps with wrinkle. So I'm going to go ahead and start spraying. All right, now this looks like a really heavy coat, but to me, this is a light coat. Um, each one of us will have a different preference on what a light coat is, but I don't like to see a lot of aluminum through it, but I like it to be covered. That's how I like my light coats. So using this cheap uh, Harbor Freight heat gun on the low setting, I'm just gonna kind of warm it up to kind of speed up the drying process, and then we'll go over it with another coat. All right, so right here, we ended up getting something in the paint. Um, it's not a big deal. We can go ahead and very easily remove that with just a piece of tape. We'll lightly just dab it onto the tape and it pulls it right out. So now we're able to go over it with our second coat. Um, this one is still tacky and I like to do it while they're tacky, not fully dry. So we'll coat over this again, heat it up again, and we'll do this until we get that desired wrinkle effect. All right, gonna hit it with the heat gun again.
All right, as you can see, the wrinkle effect's already starting to take place, so I'm gonna add the last coat. I decided I'm gonna do one more coat on this, and then we're gonna take the Honda and make it shiny. Um, so I'm gonna put one more coat on it, heat it up with the heat gun, and then we'll watch the wrinkle process. Now using some acetone, I'm just gonna pour some in this cap that came on the uh, paint. Then I'll be using some Q-tips, dipping them in the acetone and very carefully going through on each letter and removing some of the paint. Now that we got that done, we're just gonna hit it with the heat gun until it starts to uh, wrinkle up. All right, so there it is. Looks really good. Um, I would almost compare this to looking as good as the powder coat that that garage did. Um, there will be a link below so you guys can see. The comparison is crazy how good this turned out um, compared to the powder coating. Now, honestly, in my honest opinion, the powder coating is better because it's more durable and it's scratch resistant compared to this stuff, which will scratch easier. Uh, but this stuff is more durable than typical spray paints, so I highly recommend it. So if you're a budget DIYer, this stuff is definitely good. So definitely check the links below. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove the tape, and we'll see what it looks like with it uh, all peeled apart. All right, so here it is, finished product. Looks really good. I love how it looks. Uh, I'm pretty sure my buddy Jeremy's gonna be really happy with it for his Project Panda, which is his car that we're painting white and black. He likes pandas, so we're just doing that theme with his car. But I figured the red valve cover would be a nice little addition under the hood, and I think it turned out amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have more content coming out soon. We'll be painting Project Panda in an upcoming video uh, as soon as we get a garage so we will uh definitely have more content coming soon so definitely hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload and stay tuned for more content thanks for watching god bless stay safe and stay awesome